Hello and thanks for listening. We appreciate all the brilliant input and comments we have received. Several of you thought that SpaceX would be providing ground support to the booster and Starship through the base, and not the side of the ship. I checked, and what I thought was a GSE port on the Starship was specific only to the Starhopper for access. I should have known that SpaceX would do things differently than everyone else. At some point I will have to override all the memories I have of Space Shuttle and Apollo when it comes to Starship. When we see the Starship ready to launch, we don't see all sides of it. But from these angles we can see that the ground support equipment, providing propellant and power, must be coming up from the bottom. If we look at the launch stands, we see that these look like piping for just such a system. That would mean there will be a mating connector for GSE at the bottom of the Starship to mate with a similar plate on the stand. And also a matching mating connector on the Starship to lock onto a plate that's on the top of the booster. That explains the GSE strip going up the side of the booster illustrated here. The mating plates will be like we described, but rather than coming in from the side, they will be coming up from the base. We also discussed engine layout. And here we see, thanks to Boca Chica Gao, the booster thrust puck. I think we have to call this a power dome. We see eight engines in the middle, with 20 around the outside, evenly spaced. I can't wait to see the plumbing for this. So now we know how the final Raptor configuration will be for the Starship booster system. We appreciate your feedback. Don't forget to like and subscribe and stay safe at Astro Proterra.